Crunch, mobilise and join BDS campaigns. We need to work together on strategic, principled and sustained campaigning. Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Free, free! Make some noise! Taking their homes, taking their land, doing all of those kind of things. And therefore, what we need to say to time is. The situation is very impressive, it's very big. It's blocked the whole road. When people say, why don't the Palestinians protest peacefully, what the hell do people think they've been doing for 75 years? They protested peacefully. <laughs> The marches for the right of return. They marched to the border and what were they met with by Israeli bullets? That's what they were met with. So that is the situation that we are in. And we know that Gaza is a prison for 2.2 million people. We know the situation in the West Bank is getting worse and we have to stand in solidarity with all of those people. We need peace in Palestine. We need peace in the Middle East. But it has to be peace with justice. It has to be peace with equality. And so I'm here tonight to bring solidarity to the people here, but more importantly to the people of Palestine, solidarity to all of them. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Free, free! Palestine! Free, free! No, it can only be understood in the context of Israel's ongoing, decades-long military occupation and colonization of Palestinian land and its imposition of a system of oppression that meets the legal definition of the crime against humanity of apartheid. It can only be understood in the context of Israel's 75 years of colonial violence against Palestinians, 75 years of land theft, massacres, ethnic cleansing, dispossession, occupation, imprisonment and the denial of basic rights. Political leaders and much of the media are adopting a morally bankrupt, racist and deceptive timeline that begins last Saturday. They wish to ignore and erase decades of violence against Palestinians by Israel's system of colonial oppression. For them, the suffering of Palestinians under decades of oppression should be unseen and unmentioned. But it is Israel's system of oppression that is the root cause of the violence. And it is this system that Palestinians are struggling to dismantle. Despite Israel's decades-long apartheid and occupation, Palestinians, despite the inhumane violence we have faced, remain defiant and steadfast in the struggle for freedom, justice and equality. Here in Britain, we have a profound moral and ethical duty to stand in solidarity with this struggle. Palestinians are clear on what people in Britain can do to stand in meaningful solidarity. End the complicity of your government, corporations and institutions. We must demand the British government stop arming Israel and instead implement an immediate military embargo to cut off the supply of weapons to the apartheid regime. 
We must escalate BDS campaigns against corporations and financial institutions that prop up and support Israel's regime of oppression, like Barclays Bank, with branches on almost every British high street, who invest over £1 billion in companies supplying weapons and military technology to Israel. We need peace in the Middle East. And yes, we need the international community to recognize that these terrible events didn't start on Saturday. And they must recognize that ending the occupation is the only way to achieve a just and lasting peace. They must step up and ensure that that takes place. But the international community is absolutely failing to do that. Today, the European Commissioner Oliver Varhelyi tweeted the news that the EU is pulling the plug on its funding of Palestine. It's the biggest donor, it's the biggest donor to the Palestinian people, worth a total of 691 million euros a year. And now all those payments are immediately suspended. And this is nothing short of a savage attack on the daily lives of the Palestinian people, already living in dire conditions. And we know that Gaza is nothing short of the world's largest open-air prison, a tiny piece of land under heavy blockade. And we know that over two million people live there in one of the most densely populated places on earth. Daily, their basic human rights, the rights of families, of children, of old people, they are violated as essential goods and materials are excluded. According to the UN, more than half of the people live in poverty and nearly 80% of the youth are unemployed. The ending of EU funding will just be a humanitarian disaster the people will be driven to the brink of starvation, to medical crisis. There will be no support for farmers, for education. This is truly a death sentence. And this is on top of the everyday situation where the Israeli state systematically engages in acts of violence. More than 5,000 Palestinian prisoners are held in Israeli detention many of them in permanent administrative incarceration, including children. Aerial assaults on the Gaza Strip continue. Daily fatalities occur in the West Bank. And illegal Israeli settlements continue to expand on the West Bank and East Jerusalem. And all this takes place while much of the so-called international community looks on or ignores the plight of me.
Likewise, and I'm, I belong to the community in North London. And we, we individuals will come out. I mean, when, when things are we don't usually involved in politics. Not usually in things. But this is some, something we find obligation for Jewish people to stand up. I see. That's, uh, that's quite counterintuitive for a lot of people. They normally assume erroneously that uh, the Jews are all inside of the Israelites, so uh, well the Israelis. So what's the situation there? Just to clear the record for people who might not know. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of mixing up and a lot of confusion amongst the Jewish community. This is the problem. The Zionism always works on the propaganda of that we we are being persecuted rather than we are persecuting others. This is the problem of the Jewish community. They don't know that we are persecuting others rather than we are being persecuted. And it's very, very sad. Because the, 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 the only Jews are not, the real Orthodox Jews are not affiliated with Zionism altogether. It's never been a, 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 a Jewish religion uh, aspect. So that's why the Jews are not involved in it usually. So especially the Orthodox Jews, I mean the Orthodox Jews. So, that's why it hardly, comes, hardly comes in, right? But when it comes in, when it, one has to stand up for, you know, basically one word, Zionism is the, is, is the, is the root cause of the problems. And um, with regards to your particular uh, like Jewish group, what's their position on this now, would you say? We, were, we pray for a dismantlement. We hope we've got God help in a peaceful manner rather than a violent manner. We don't want bloodshed, obviously. I mean, it has to come to an end. We are getting, it's, not, it's not a. It's the cause of. We used to live together in, in Palestine, peacefully together with the Palestinians, the Arab Jews, everyone together. And they came along and they, still, they broke, broke the community. And we put with their politics. And we, we Jews, we have suffered so much in the, some Zionism ideology. And this is, this is ironic how the Jews don't realize it. And that's why we're standing, we're helping, we're getting help for the. We're pleading for help. We are pleading basically for help from the world to realize the underlying cause here. It's not, it's not, it's not the rockets, it's not the hostage taking, which, which, which was the problem. It's the, it started somewhere else, started with ethnic cleansing, started the occupation, and started with everything else. Mm. And if you had like a final message for the British public, how they may help you? Well, we, 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 we have to be uh, consistent here and not be worried about being uh, labeled or branded as anti-Semitic, we stand up for the Palestinians. We stand up for the Palestinians a favor for us Jews. A favor for, uh, gain Zionism is a, is a favor for us Jews. And being anti-Zionist is not being anti-Semitic. 100% and it, 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 the British public should be really strong about it and not be intimidated by the Zionist lobby here in England. They need 
petitions to the shitty government, there's a lot we can do. Yeah, and uh, just uh, in case anyone missed it the first time, where are well, you? What's the next event? Sorry, Just in case I missed it last time, what's the next event? There's a protest on Oxford Street. We're actually going to shut down the whole Oxford Street. There's one tomorrow, there's one on Saturday. Make sure everyone's there. And if you have one final message for people in the UK, there's a campaign in the UK. They need us.